Hi, hello my planty friends and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be doing this video. I know it's been a hot minute since I've been on here, but um, work got a little crazy and then the coronavirus happened, so work got even more crazy, so here we are. But today I'm going to show you how I make sphagnum moss poles for things that live in semi-hydro. I haven't seen this done a whole lot, but I have a method of still keeping the moss wet while having a plant in semi-hydro. So I'm very excited to show this to you guys today. Um, and yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a plant that needs a moss pole. This is my Raphidophora tetrasperma and it's putting out some new growth. Um, it's not split. Well, there's two split leaves, but the recent growth has not split. Um, so hopefully it'll split soon and putting it on a moss pole should help. This is the plant we're going to be, or I'm going to be transitioning. It is currently in semi-hydro in LECA and it is in a four inch pot. I think maybe a little smaller so you need a, a plant obviously this is a piece of a PVC pipe and it's about the height that I want it it's not yeah sure it's the height that I want it <laughs> I think this is three quarter inch PVC maybe an inch um, I don't know we're gonna say three quarters of an inch then some nylon or polyester yarn slash string. You don't want this to be like cotton string because then it will degrade once you get it wet and then it'll fall apart and you'll just be like, I wasted all my time on nothing. <laughs> then you're going to need some tape. You can use tape or hot glue. I've used hot glue in the past. I've never used tape. So this is gonna be an experience for both of us. Then, of course, you're gonna need some moss. This is Fagna moss that I found at Lowe's, and it's not the best quality because there's a bunch of little sticks in here, but that's okay. We're gonna make it work, and I've already pre-soaked it and kind of squeezed a lot of the water out. Step number one is to take your plant out of semi-hydro um, and just kind of, you know, take it out. I can't believe I did that without spilling any. Uh, that is a miracle. So the root system on this dude actually does look really, really good, which I am so stoked about. I got him, I don't remember, but there's a bunch of nice white roots in there. So he is thriving and I love that. So he is going to do fantastically. Okay. Next thing is putting the PVC pipe in the pot and marking where the edge of the pot meets the PVC pipe. Um, so this is so that way you don't have a bunch of moss down below this and you're not wasting moss and the moss isn't sitting in semi-hydro and rotting. Okay, this is where the magic happens. So most people just go ahead and start putting moss on the pole. But what we're gonna do is we're going to take our string and wrap it along the inside of the pole. So that way water will be wicked up on the inside and we're gonna do it from the outside. So I'm just gonna take my string and you wanna leave enough at the bottom. So this is my mark right here. You wanna leave enough at the bottom to where like the string is definitely going to be in the water. Uh, yep, okay, and we're just gonna tape it right there. You can also use hot glue. Uh, tape works just fine as well. And then I'm just gonna sit here and twist it up the pipe. And at the top, I'll also put another piece of tape. Then we're gonna wrap it coming back down the other way until it's even and it should meet on the other side of the wrap. 
I'll show you in a second. Let me put this tape on. And then cut it. So as you can see, it's wrapped like this. And the ends are slightly longer than the pole. And I didn't start wrapping until right there at my mark. I taped there, wrapped it up taped at the top and then wrapped it back down and taped it down there that's what it should look like so now that you have this it'll fit in that pot perfectly the next part is putting the moss on the pole which is my least favorite part and will 100 percent be sped up because i hate doing this so next i'm going to take six inch pieces of string that look like this so I can put the moss on the pole, lay the pole on top of this, and then tie it like this. Um, and then I'm gonna do that probably like every inch or so coming down the, um, the PVC pipe. So I'm gonna cut all these strings. Okay, all the strings are done, so. Okay, we're gonna let the plane pass because it's very loud. <laughs> okay, so the first thing, I'm gonna lay one string out at the top like that, and then I'm just gonna take some moss and just kind of bunch it up. <sighs> this is my least favorite part. And then tie it. I'm sure there's better ways to do this, but this is just how I found to do it. So just repeat this process until it is done. Now I'm going to put the moss that I didn't use away and we're going to do the same thing that we did when we first wrapped the pole and we're just going to do that again. So we're going to repeat that process again, leaving enough of a tail so it hangs down below the end of the pole. This is going to help keep a keep the moss on it the pole and it's also going to help hydrate the pole um, from the outside so this one i do like to wrap a little tighter so i'm just taking it wrapping it and i'm pulling on this pretty pretty taut um, and you could use Oh, we have a little bit of a bare spot. And if you notice that, you can just add some more moss and then make sure you really wrap over it. Cool. So we made it back down to the end. Now I'm going to tape this off. And then I'm going to cut the remainder of this string just so that way we don't have a lot sitting in there. So there you go. That's the moss pole. Um, you can come through and you can make that probably a little more clean when you wrap it. Um, you can also use netting, but I didn't really want to use plastic netting also because I didn't have any and I'm on a budget right now. <laughs> so I didn't want to go buy any. You can also stuff the top with um, moss just to kind of give it a little bit more of a finished look so next we're going to put the pole and little raffi over here back in his little pot also i just wanted to show you his root system since it looks so good and this is him he's my favorite <laughs> Alrighty, here we are with our completed moss pole. 
This little thing hanging off the side is bothering me. I'm gonna just go. Whoop. Yeah, and once this kind of dries, you can do the same thing. I don't really care. Um, if you left these little ties on there too long, you can cut trim those as well. But to do this next part, you're going to take your moss pole and set it in here kind of how you want it and make sure that these strings are down into the pot. Um, I, one thing that I should note is this pot sits flush in this cash pile. So whatever water is in here, it's going up a third on this. I don't use a wick with this one. So this is going to be sitting directly in the water and that string will be able to wick it up. Um, if I was using a moss pole in a container that had a wick, I would make these tails the length of the container so that way it would constantly have a stream of moisture. So we're just going to position this moss pole in the pot and I want it kind of off center since this is a single cutting and it's just going to grow up the moss pole like that. Oh my god, look how cute it is! <sighs> wow. Yep, so pull in a little bit of Lekka. I'm going to go in. Then we're just going to set a little raffy here. I feel like I need two, two sets of hands to do this. Down in the pot and then backfill with Lekka. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm gonna put him back in his little pot. Oh my god, I did not like that! Ah, so cute. Okay. I'm just making sure this pole is in there and a very stable. That's when I make the mess. Okay. This dude isn't quite long enough to attach him to the pole just yet, but I wanted him to start to have the chance to grow up the pole. What I'm going to be using are these flexible ties from the Dollar Tree, and they have them in store right now. And it's essentially just a rubber coated wire um, that you can just cut, and it's super pliable and super just easy to use and very bendy. Um, very delicate on the plants. These are supposed to be used in your garden, but you can use them for house plants too. And I need to find. Aha. Here is the end. So essentially, what I would do is just cut off like the part that I need and just wrap it around and then just tie it on there so it it stays. And these don't like look look that. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, it's Friday. I'm having a great day. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm getting a phone call from potential spam. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to use to attach it to the moss pole. One thing to note is that since this moss pole is also going to be using the water from the Lekka Reservoir, you're going to have to probably fill up the reservoir a little bit more often than you usually would. And since this is such a small container, I'm probably gonna to have to fill it up multiple times a week. And this sits next to um, my air vent and in front of a west facing window. So it's going to dry out probably a lot faster than if you had it say in a north facing window or not next to the air vent or not in a room with a fan that's going. But other than that, it should be good to go. And speaking of the air vent, the air just turned on. So I think that is my cue to say goodbye. But I hope you guys found this video a little bit informational and a little bit helpful for using a moss pole with your semi-hydro plants and how to keep your moss poles hydrated when you're using them with semi-hydro. I have a moss pole like this for my Monstera that didn't transfer well 
um, with its old roots, so I had to cut them all off, and it's currently growing new ones, but I'm going to be putting that on a pole like this as well. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I will see you in another planty video very, very soon.